Here's my plan for the camper awning build. I'm going to mount the recoil mechanism. I'm going to build and weld the awning frame. And then we're going to cut and sew the awning material. This awning is going to have a valence to protect it from the sun. And it's going to recoil tightly against the back of the camper shell for storage. I'm going to use this waterproof canvas material for the awning itself to provide shade and shelter from the rain. This is my buddy Tony's rig. We built his first awning two years ago. I'll put a link to that video at the end of today's video. This awning has since failed, so today we're going to fix that. My recoil mechanism is this outdoor roller shade from Coolaroo. I'll leave affiliate links down below for all the products in today's video. We're going to take this guy and we're going to mount it right there. Here's the valence that I made for this awning. I used some roof flashing. It was bonded galvanized roof flashing and bonded flashing is easily painted. That's why I chose it. And I just bent it on my metal brake. I got my angles, I got my little drip edge and I reinforced it with the hem at the bottom. To secure the ends, I welded this with Aluma Weld welding rods from Harbor Freight. They don't just work on aluminum. Let's get this thing mounted. I think we're going to mount it about right there. Should be good. Or it'll be in the way. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's got our recoil mechanism mounted. Next, we're gonna go to work on rebuilding these uh, uprights and we're gonna make a new frame. Here's how the old awning worked. We have half inch EMT electrical conduit and three quarter inch and they, they just slide in and out. So as it goes up, it goes out. So we're gonna reuse these and we're gonna weld our new pieces together. Down below, I've welded these new hinge points. These are gonna be the brackets that we're gonna mount. That's gonna replace the EMT brackets that we used in the previous build. So this will be much more substantial. All right, I'm gonna mount my hinge bracket so that we can get the bottom legs on both sides and then we can start building. I've got a second hole. We'll add a second screw, but I don't have one right now. That's gonna work good. That's an upgrade we should have done a long time ago, huh? Let's do a rough fitting of the awning frame. All right, it doesn't look too bad. Welding EMT really sucks. Uh, it's hard to get a good weld because the it's just a weird metal. So let me know what you think about those welds in the comments down below. Uh, I'm gonna call it a farmer weld. Looks good to me. A wire wheel will make it look good. Here's where we're at. I've got the mechanism mounted. I've got the awning frame built and welded. And next, we need to cut and sew the awning material. This is that waterproof canvas material. And my plan here is to take the outdoor roller shade and I'm just gonna use it as a pattern for my new awning. So I'll measure this out and we'll cut it and use it as a pattern and get the awning made. I want my finish length to be 61 inches long, but I'm gonna leave it a little longer for my hems.
got the waterproof canvas material cut and hemmed on both sides. It's the same width as the original shade. You can see here that I've run two stitches down the hem to make sure that this thing does not come unraveled. Next, I'm gonna put a hem on one end of the material so that it can slide over the awning frame. I've cut a little hole and I've reinforced the stitching on all four sides. I'll show you what that's for a little bit later. The last little bit of sewing I have to do is to hem this end piece. So let's do that right now. And because this is gonna be a high stress seam, I'm gonna sew it one more time. All right, that's got our awning all made. You can see it's pretty much the same dimension as the shade that came with the shaderoo. And it's the same width, but it turns out it's only about eight inches shorter. So that should give us plenty of tension on the recoil. Next, we're gonna mount this thing to the recoil mechanism itself. I'm going to use this piece of aluminum flat stock and we're going to screw it to there and we're going to trap that awning right underneath. Maybe I shouldn't have made it that tight. Yeah. Jeez. All right. I could have made that hem a little bigger. All right, we've got the awning snaked over the frame and you can see the recoil. It's working pretty good. Might have to adjust it a little bit. Uh, maybe add another turn of tension or so. But for the most part, I, I think we're there. Let's, uh, let's fully deploy this thing. This is in the fully deployed position. We can shorten the material up to make it a little taller. Uh, I'm six foot six, so when I'm back here, it, it'll be fine. So Tony's a little shorter than I am, so it ought to work for him. Here's the little hole that I cut. You can see uh, I did that so I could add a piece of paracord. That's my handle. Heavy waterproof material, a sturdy welded frame, and a recoiling design. All great upgrades for this project. Be sure to check out our first video, which was our first attempt at this project. I'll put a link right here. If you're into camping, check out our sister channel, Camping Tips and Tricks. I'm glad you watched, and I hope you'll watch again.